there may become a point where you need to actually start doing some functions within the SQL language. And so I'm going to start off with what's called the distinct function within our database. And what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to pull out um, the duplicates that, that may show up in a, in a column uh, when we actually do a search on it. And I want to just show you the example. I'm going to go do two examples. One of category, and you'll see that there are actually, since I've only got 10 records, it's really easy to see that I've only got two real categories here, the fiction category and an audio category. When it comes to something else like dates, I may have some repeat values uh, within my dates as well, like 1996 will show up twice. And so what I can do if I wanted to search for a particular column, I can actually just pull off all the fields that are distinct from each other or do not duplicate. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If I go ahead and select category now and go ahead and run this, you're going to see here that all my categories are listed now, all the fictions and then all the audio, but I'm, I really want to just to know all the different kind of categories. And so when you're looking for the different kinds, what you're going to want to do is actually run the function for the distinct function. And so how we do that is we actually type in distinct and then since it's a function I need to have an opening and closing parenthesis around uh, the object that I'm running the function on. Since I'm running it on the category column I'm going to go ahead and put distinct and then the parentheses around the column and then from books. And now when I hit run you're going to notice that only two of the categories show up. Basically the, dis the differing categories or all the categories without repeat values are showing up. And I'll go ahead and repeat this with a different category now. Instead of the uh, distinct, uh, instead of category, what I'm going to go ahead and do is yeah. let's run the asterisk there so I can see all of my options here. And what we're going to do is a pub date, publication date. So with this, if I did pub date from books and I hit run, you're going to see that 1997, 2004, 96, 2003, oh, I've got a repeat value of 96. And I could really see it if I did an order by. So if I do order by pub date, I can go ahead and run this. And you're going to now see that I've got some repeat values. And you can really point out the 96s, 2003s. And so if I ran this again with a distinct function, and I put the parentheses around my field that I want to use, I can go ahead and hit run, and you're now going to see that the column is only the distinct or non-duplicate values within that column itself.